Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I'm sure by now you will notice one of my favorite hobby is to buy scale Gundam models and to build it. So those who don't know what Gundam is, just for my self-explanation about it is, it's a Japanese really well-crafted scale robots that are probably going to be built if we're going to have this space intergalactic war uh, so it's a weapon apparently a uh, robot that is built to destroy and um, these are scale 1 to 100 and what you will see here is the two of the Vert car so i love Vert car by the way i have about five uh six different models and um, one of my favorite is shajabi and new gundam that i actually have in my display box um, uh, but also before i fell in love with new Gundam which is my favorite it, double Zeta Gundam used to be my favorite when I was a kid um, and because of my love for that as a childhood I also bought the old version of Faz which is the armor version of double Zeta Gundam and this is the newly released version of Faz which is really well uh, crafted so I thought well since I have I already made a video of these two by the way comparison but since I got the new Faz um, Ver car which is really well crafted why don't I just make a comparison video of these uh, three so that you guys will get the feel of what's the difference if or if you're thinking of buying this one or the bit older version of uh, the Ver car of double set to condom which is still really good I, I still uh, credit this to be my favorite but um, let's get on to the comparison what are the difference so here it goes to start with with the design of the head of the uh, Faz is is more sideways long and energetic while as the uh, Verka is is more like flat more original shape similar to the uh, classic um, double Zeta Gundam but you can see more details immediately on the newly released so it's really pleasing to look at that but you do have an option to replace it with uh, this one here so that's literally the same as the um, the Verka version so if you want the original shape you can actually replace it with this one the famous plane that goes in the middle of the robot to reinforce itself together if you compare it with the fast version and the Verka which is these two, they're literally the same. There's no difference whatsoever with the size, but obviously with the classic version, it's more bulkier and uh, bigger. So um, that's the difference here. Bottom side of the plane, you can actually see the Faz and the Verka Double Zeta has literally the same. They have this transparent uh, wheels, while as the old school has a bit of a bulkier, simplified wheels. And one of the nightmare thing about this one is that if you touch the wheel, it will come out so easily. You have to constantly put it back in. I mean, this is just a bit wobbly. Um, while as this one is just one piece, put it all together. Now, regards to the height, you can see that the old school faz is the shortest and slightly higher comes the um, verka double zeta and then what we have is the newly released faz which you can see is slightly taller which is quite interesting now when it comes to legging details of the faz version and the verka you can see that the um, verka version on the top is slightly bulkier and um, the more energetic looks on the Faz. They're almost literally the same on the front, but on the back side, you can see that the Verka Double Zeta has more details and um, the Faz has less of a detail, more simplified back. Now, regards to the details of the arms, you can see that they are pretty much the same, actually. Um, also, these uh, bits of you know, for a car, the newly released, you you can't really actually move each individual fingers. Same as the Faz, you have to take out uh, these parts to be able to replace it. But um, what I was a bit surprised is that I, by seeing these details from the uh, for a car before it was before this was released, this actually came out first. Now I thought. Faz will come out with separate pieces where you can actually attach by looking at this, but we just have the different model of Faz. But um, otherwise, they're pretty much the same. But on the Faz, you do have an option of putting these um, extra 
sort of protection shield which doesn't have the instruction on it unfortunately in regards to the back side of the FAS, it's more bulkier and energetic while as the uh, double Zeta Ver car is more flat and long. Um, now, I, th I guess the design of the backpack of the newly released Ver car FAS came from the original um, classic FAS version of it. But then again, I think it's only that this funnel here is similar to the um, the newly released uh, FAS. But I think this is this comes to the middle between like this combined. It looks like a combined version of these two in some ways. So that's the comparison to the back. On the leg side, obviously, we've got a very simplified version of the classic um, FAS. Uh, but more detailed and more energetic on the newly released FAS. Now, regards to the big gun that both FAS models are holding, the length and the design overall seems to be pretty much the same. Maybe the newly released Vercar version has slightly longer length, but regards to all these wiring and all the uh, design aspect of it um, is pretty much the same. Um, other than the fact that the FAS one has this yellowy pattern um, on it and also this white bit on each end that the original doesn't have. Now I'm holding the FAS for a car version of this plain gun I would like to call it. It's more sharper look obviously comparing to the classic look um, but the actual gun itself is much fancier look comparing to the old version. It's literally the same design that you can see, same shape, but only the final part. Uh, this is the Verka uh, Double Zeta and this is the Verka Faz. The final part of that thing is more armored, more <laughs> cooler looking, as you can see here. Now this um, wiry bit for the armor, uh, for the classic Faz, it's literally a fabric, which is quite cool but the newly released one is more like a rubbery, shiny black um, rubber finish. Upper body, chest side of it, you can see that the Faz Double Zeta has this silvery kind of pointy bit out, while as the newly released Faz version doesn't actually have that, it's more simplified, but overall the design and the theme follows through both of them. Backside of multi-missile pack, uh, the FAS seems to won the case because it has most details on it. Now the double Zeta version, I'm pretty disappointed with that. I, it doesn't make much of a sense why they've done it this way. I rather prefer the classic FAS. I know there's the, you gotta highlight a bit more details on the backside of the missile, but this still is better than this really not convincing missile backpack of the Vert car. When it comes to the um, lightsaber and the joint bit, I would say the Vert car double Zeta has won the case. It has way more details on it. Uh, the length wise, uh, Faz has the longest and the Vert car double Zeta has the middle and the shortest one is unfortunately the classic version. Now, lastly, when it comes to the weight uh, details, there's more energy on the FAS. You can see it's actually longer comparing to the, um, the double Zeta. And this pointy bit there is actually more energetic feel comparing to the, the double Zeta. So I hope this sums up the whole three models of the difference. If you have any other further queries, if you want to find out more about it, please do comment below. But I have to say my favorite is obviously double Zeta for a car because this reflects exactly how I want the uh, Zeta would look like other than the height actually. I have to say Faz is taller. It's a bit of a shame because I thought both of them are gonna be the same height and you can actually swap the armors around but unfortunately that's not the case. Maybe we'll see the armor version of the Zeta uh, released from Bandai in the future. But um, overall, I'm really impressed. I'm 
constantly getting impressed with the Vert car, especially my new Gundam and Shajabi. And uh, I'm very excited about this newly released model that is to come along with the Vert car version for other models as well in the future. So I hope I'll make a video review on that in the future. But anyhow, I hope you like this video. Any further queries, please do comment below and please make sure you subscribe and uh, put the uh, press the button of not notification bell as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.